we must say rest in peace to a fallen friend. Hey, all gravity, any day above ground, live it. So you already know what to do. Share, like, and subscribe. That's right. Share, like, and subscribe because I'm not like other YouTubers. I'm different. So before I start this video, I would like to thank everyone, everyone, everyone who tuned in to my Marcel Dixon interview. It was so engaging. It was beautiful to see a lot of Freedmen and B1s in the building. FBA and ADOS as well. And we need to help that brother. Unseat Jim. I use vegetable oil not shortening at my fish fry. Clyburn. Now, his primary is in June. We got to make sure to put money on this brother to make sure that he can continue campaigning, continue getting out there, and continue the fight to make sure that South Carolina get the tangibles that they need. So down in the description box, I have the link where you can go donate and also go follow that brother on Twitter at Marcel, the digit for Congress and engage him. He's very open and he was just a ton of fun. Now, as you know, we have soap operas and one in particular is called Bold and the Beautiful. But for black people, we're going to call this one the Boule and the Bootlick. Mark Lamont Hill's out of a job, folks. Couldn't be happier for him. And why am I saying that? Because he was already on my shit list for these comments he said about the late great Francis Cress Wilson. Right here. So, of course, you know, most people, when they get fired, they get angry. So Mark Lamont Hill decided to unload on his former boss, Shad Khan, who owns who owned that network, but also owns the Jacksonville Jaguars. <clears throat> and he had said this, folks, and I'm going to come back with my commentary on this because I want you all to understand what this man was saying. So Mark Lamont, you big dummy Hill is saying that Shad Khan is not paying employees who took significant pay cuts. He's not going to pay them the money that he, he owes them. My question is, sir, you're doing this on Twitter. Why didn't you just call up your lawyer when you first heard of this and get the class action lawsuit started? I'm pretty sure all those hundreds of employees would join you in that against that man. You took to Twitter to tell everybody he's not paying and then wondered why. When you go down the comment section, people are not feeling sympathy for you. Maybe it has something to do with what you said about Francis Cress Welsing, plus allowing Tarana Burke and Brittany Cooper, a.k.a. Tyrannosaurus Burke and Professor Klump, you allow them to go on your platform and say this. Violence. And part of the reason I'm not willing to have this debate with black folks, right, who want to sort of be apologists for Bill Cosby is because we don't believe women enough. We don't believe girls enough. And then we want to stand up and raise the lynching flag and suggest that this man has been lynched. But we know that he was going around violently violating all kinds of women across racial categories at a whim simply because he was powerful and thought he could get away with it. And Lady Karma always comes to collect. She gave you a pass for Francis Cress Wilson. She gave you a pass after what happened to you at CNN. She gave you a pass when you did not say you're sorry for your comments. Gave you a pass for allowing those two idiots to say what they said about Bill Cosby. And gave you a pass for what you were saying in your head about Sister Felicia Rashad because she wanted to defend Bill Cosby. Lady Karma can only allow so much. 
And now you're out of a job, but you're a blue check. You'll bounce back from it. You got your new book coming out May 3rd with George Floyd's picture on the front. So I'm sure you'll sell a couple thousand copies. Hopefully, hopefully Monday morning, I and the rest of the new black media will see that you have filed a class action lawsuit between yourself and all the employees that he did not pay getting those wages. If you do that, kudos to you. But we know you're not going to do that because it's all about you. So, again, share, like, and subscribe. That's right, share, like, and subscribe because I'm not like other YouTubers. I'm different. Take care. Stay safe. I'm out. Just like the Black News Channel.